What's going on, you guys? My name's Ty Knotts, and welcome to Top 5 Unknowns. Five creepy documentaries. Number 5. A documentary known as The Iceman Tapes covers the life and crimes of the Iceman Killer, also known as Richard Guklinski. The documentary takes the viewer into the mind of a cold-hearted killer through a series of interviews conducted by psychiatrist Michael Baden. He covers a wide variety of topics from his childhood to his reasoning behind the crimes, and Richard, with Richard describing in excruciating detail each of his kills and motives. In his own words, Richard Kuklinski is what you would call a person's worst nightmare. On May 25, 1988, Richard Kuklinski was convicted of multiple murder and sentenced to life imprisonment. This ended 30 years of cold-blooded killing by a master criminal police called the Iceman. Richard Kuklinski is one of the most dangerous criminals we have ever come across in this state. He murdered by guns. He murdered by strangulation. He murdered by putting poison on victims' food. He did all of this at the same time while exhibiting a normal, placid family existence. His wife, his children, uh, were uninvolved in his criminal activities. Yet, uh, we are faced with uh, evidence, convicting evidence, of uh, numerous grisly murders. How many people have you killed? Oh, an approximate guess. Approximately will go with more than a hundred. Number four. The Killing of America is a lesser-known documentary covering the moral decline of American values, specifically focusing on the events of the 1970s. The film is largely remembered due to the toll it took on its writers and directors. Workers remarked that they were left feeling depressed and dreadful after filming, as the film covers a variety of dark topics including the killings carried out by a man known as Edmund Kimber, including real-life murder footage from his victims. I am an American. And I killed Americans. I am a human being, and I killed human beings. And I did it in my society. 10 L30 to 20. 73 to 9 Drop the gun. Drop the gun. America the Beautiful has become America the Violent. This is the country that produces an attempted murder every three minutes, a murder victim every 20 minutes, 27,000 murders a year, and the number is growing. No one is safe. But when I saw him there that night, he seemed like a, a saint. Every morning when I get up, I say, I wish that son of a gun were alive. For the first time ever, anywhere, you can see the true face of the evil that is destroying our country. Know the truth and survive the killing of America. Number three. An interview and documentary was filmed known as the Fritzel Affair surrounding the events of the Fritzel case, a case involving a father who locked his daughter in a basement for 24 years, regularly physically and sexually assaulting her. She had seven children with him, each of whom was conceived through means of force. The film contains interviews with family members who aid in describing the man's horrific behaviors, as well as the decisions and life choices that led him to carry out such a prolonged and unspeakable act against his own daughter. I grew up in a poor family. My father was a no-good scoundrel who always cheated on her. My mother threw him out of the house when I was four, and she was quite right to do so. I grew up in the Nazi era, and strictness and discipline were very important then. I've probably subconsciously picked up some of that, which is only normal. The 
Hijo de Katrin Kekke. Nicht, dass ich wüsste. Weil dazu war es viel zu geizig. Da war es geizig, ja. Katrin Kekke. Number 2 a documentary known as The Imposter covers the life of Frederick Borden, a man known for his 500 plus fake identities. He earned himself the nickname The Chameleon as he's known to have taken on the role of a child as well as three teenagers. In one instance, he's known to have impersonated a boy who went missing three years prior, continuing to live with the boy's family for six months until an investigator proved his wrongdoings by checking his fingerprints. The thought of what somebody could have done to him. It gives you nightmares. He doesn't have no IDs, no documents on him. It's very scary. From as long as he had changed so much, there was just something wrong about it. Number 1 A 2015 film known as The Nightmare details the topic of sleep paralysis, a very common phenomenon in which you can become stuck somewhere in between the state of being awake and being asleep. This can often result in vivid hallucinations, which are almost always unsettling or downright disturbing. Victims oftentimes report seeing a dark, human-like figure looming over them. The film premiered at Sundance Film Festival and is highly regarded. Laying down to go to sleep. I would feel utterly exhausted, almost as if I had just been drugged. And my eyes sealed shut, my mouth sealed shut, and it's as if everything was shutting down except for my awareness, my consciousness. It's a kind of horror that is worse than like in the movies. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, be sure to click that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell to keep updated with our videos.